Hi everyone, John here with Jacob in the studio and we're coming at you with another Flames of War battle report. This battle report is kind of exciting because we are trying out the American Bulge book. Mm -hmm. So we're going to late, late war. So it's going to be kind of exciting. Now unfortunately the Germans don't have their Bulge book yet. No. Nope. So I'm taking the Americans, Jacob's taking the Germans, and your list is out of German migration. Migration, yep. Yeah. yep. So that's like the most recent German book, which still has plenty of good stuff. The only thing you're missing out on, I think, is King Tigers, Yog Panthers. I'm assuming some difference in the training rating on the Germans, right? Yeah, but yeah. I forgot. But, um, yeah. yeah, but your SS book also has. True. There's a lot of, of training ratings out there already. So um, it's going to be a M4 Sherman Late Company versus a. Uh, Bang, uh, Bagration Panzer 470 Company. Panzer 470 Company. Well, why don't I go first? Um, I'm going to have an HQ unit of two Shermans. Now, it gets more complicated. You've played, you're an American player, mm -hmm. so you know that those Sherman platoons can mix and can match, get, mix and yeah. match as, as much as you want. So, the HQ's got uh, two Shermans in it. One of them's upgraded to a Jumbo 76. One of them's downgraded to just a D-Day Sherman. Okay. Because it saves you a point. Then I'm taking two identical Sherman platoons. Each platoon has a jumbo, two easy eights, and one downgraded Sherman as a meat shield, basically. The jumbo, I guess, is a meat shield, too. <laughs> Keep those easy eights alive. So that's a pretty pricey platoon. Um, I also spent uh, money on the command card to upgrade their anti tank rating from 12 to 13. So I'm adding some of that hyper velocity AP ammunition. Good. Yeah, it should be. <laughs> <Not for me>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then, uh, so that's in my core formation. Also in my core formation, I've got uh, four Chaffees, the ever-popular Chaffee, a Stuart with the Sherman gun. I've got a Super Pershing, the scary thing you could say. Yeah, I didn't realize that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, the mortar, uh, the 81 millimeter armored mortar, half tracks, of course, everybody's favorite. And then, in uh, outside of my formation, I have a battle-worn rifle platoon. Basically, just sit on an objective and. What does battle-worn get you? I don't remember. Battle-worn's bad because it's like a five-plus motivation. Good for them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that they're kind of done with the war at this point. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Ready. All right. <laughs> so that's me, and that comes to uh, with lucky it comes to 105 points. Okay. All right, what do you got? I have the Panzer 470 tank company. So my HQ is a just a plain old Panzer 470. Um, I have a single platoon of three Panzer 470s. And then after that, I have two Tigers. And then also part of that, I have four Werblewinds, which are some fun, funny looking AA, which oh, doesn't look like you brought any AA. So. <laughs> I'll shoot, I'll I didn't bring any air. I'll no. shoot at infantry, that's OK. Yeah. Uh, for support, I have an armored Panzer Grenadier platoon. Um, with an upgraded Panzerfaust in it, and two 88s, and everyone's favorite, Brumbars. Two Brumbars. Two Brumbars. So I'm curious to see how the Brumbars go because I, Jake and I never played with them in yeah. the Bagration release, so it'll be good to see how they. You, you don't have high hopes for them? I, they, their heyday was a couple editions ago, but I just love them, so we'll find out. Okay. Well, we're going to find out. We haven't rolled up the mission, so we're going to go ahead and do that, get deployed, and start the battle. All right, the battlefield is set up. We're playing free for all, and uh, it's the most basic of all games. So uh, basically, you are on that side of the table, twelve inches in. <laughs> I'm on this side of the table, twelve inches in, and uh, we have two objectives. I have an objective there, and one that the Panthers or Tigers tiger. parked on, and then you placed one here, which I've got a Sherman platoon nearby, and one over here that these. This whole chain armor park is parked on. Uh, okay, so uh, let's go over deployment. What did you deploy? Uh, so starting from my left to right, uh, so I have my three Panzer 470s in this nice little crop field. I have some Warble Winds, which I'm not realizing you don't have any air, so mm -hmm. that's not good. Um, two Brum Bars also kind of hiding in here. Uh, the 88s are holding up, holding up the uh, center. Uh, good, good. Uh, yeah, that's right. And then uh, two Tigers here peeking out a little bit. My... Uh, Panzer, uh, Panzer Grenadier platoon, followed up by the company commander, or the, yeah. Company gotcha. Commander. And I bet you didn't even notice, Craig Abrams is right there next to you. It's, <laughs> he's just speaking, he's sneaking up, yes. <laughs> All right, so over on my side, uh, countering your Tigers, I've got uh, the Super Pershing in the field, 
my first platoon of uh, various models of Shermans. <laughs> and over here, I've got my rifle platoon dug in, my HQ, these two guys, four chaffees, and my second platoon of Shermans, and then my 81 millimeter mortars. So, we are ready to begin. Yeah. So, it's free for all, so we roll off to see who goes first. This might be the most important die roll of the game. Let's go. <laughs> Don't say it like that. Ah, okay. All right. <laughs> That's how we do it. That's how it's going to start. Two. <laughs> Double one. All right. So it's going to be turn one for the Germans. German movement is done. Yeah. Uh, Jacob, you want to go over what you did? So, uh, push the Panzer 470s and the Werbel ones up. Okay. Um, Brumbar stayed put. They did. 88 stayed put because they don't, I mean, they're 88s. They, they are. Uh, <laughs> um, and then Tigers moved over here. The uh, Panzer 470 moved to just try to get some shots. And then I did a dash for those uh, wonderful little ASD yeah, KFCs. You're going after this. Group I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. All right. Well, sounds good. Where do you want to start shooting? Let's do this, uh, this Panzer 470, taking okay. a pot shot. Uh, into that uh, tank platoon. So we already know it's long range, concealed, gone to ground, so you're going to need sevens Yay. with your one shot. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh wow. so close. <laughs> um, <laughs> these two uh, two tigers, same thing. Two tigers. Yeah. All right. Nope. Yeah, no, no. All right, all right. And then okay. these two 88s, if we just kind of wrap this up. Oh, we could. Okay. Um, into the same unit. And the reason why you're just rolling two dice is because on turn one, uh, free for all, it's a meeting engagement, you count as moving. That's correct. And can't shoot bombardments. Yeah, you so. get all the bonuses. All right, let's see some sevens. No. It's a six-sided no. die. Um, all right, I... <laughs> dumb joke. Uh, <laughs> that's all, that's it. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do some move, uh, some uh, scoot, or what are they called? Scooting and shooting? Yeah. Well, those you can't because you have to do a successful blitz. Oh, you do? I think so. Let me double check. Double check. Let me double check. Since you, obviously, since you moved, as Jake pointed out, I'm here Jake. to correct the game. You should have judged. Uh, we, we can't. Yeah, so let me let me point out, we had a viewer that said his wife, I think, asked him if you two were brothers. Yes, the, you, Jacob, and you, Jake, are brothers. We are. And uh, you Our are. named us the same name. Ironically, you're both cops. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just kidding. They are not brothers. If people don't know, Jake is my son, and Jacob is our family friend. All right. Now, on to... Uh, Anything else you're doing? No, uh, I guess just wallowing in my own <laughs> self-pity, so yeah. All right, so it's going to be American turn one. This is going to be the first turn for the American Bulge book. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. All right, we're going to try to blitz with the Super Pershing as my first Action. You ready for this, Jacob? Boo. Three plus for my Yankee Ingenuity Tactic rating. Yes! Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, well, then i got to figure out where he's going to go. Movement's done. Uh, he drove over. Even though he failed his blitz, he moved over so he could get an open shot at your uh, Tigers over there. Mm -hmm. Granted, it's just going to be rate of fire one, but better than nothing. And then these guys all have uh, targets that they can shoot. Over here, my attack wing has moved out. So they don't have anyone they can shoot this round, but um, what we're going to do is start the turn by these mortars. We're going to drop, try to drop a line of smoke over there. Boo. So last game, Jacob, last game. Oh, you hold grudges. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to give any spoilers about how the t game turned out, but I tried to drop the line of smoke on turn one and failed on four dice with a three up. <laughs> so can my American uh, U.S. Armored dice do better? Here we go. Looking for... Some three ups. Okay, we're good. We're good. So we've got smoke, and I didn't have to spend my lucky. All right, so we'll put the smoke on. Next up, we're going to go over here, Jacob. Super Pershing into one of your tigers. Okay. The lead tiger, the closest one to me. Sounds good. So normally you're hit on four, five for range, six because I failed my blitz. <laughs> so let's see if I can tag you with that high velocity 90 millimeter cannon. No, so close. If I had passed my my blitz, <laughs> that would have that would have been a hit. All right, this platoon, basically my two easy eights, are gonna fire onto your Panzer four seventy. Panzer four seventy, which okay. they can see out in the open. So they're gonna turn their turrets at you, 
And then these two guys, which are just rocking the normal Sherman gun, mm -hmm. are going to try to smoke those 88s. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do four shots, needing fives on your Panzer 470. Yeah, All right. Wow. Good. Okay. Good All right. for you. All right. And then we're going to do four shots because you fired. I'm going to need sixes. Okay. Should we separate them? Because I know that guy can only see this one. Oh, yeah, we can do And that. then that one can see both, I guess. Okay, so we'll do the guy who can see everything. Sixes. And the guy who can only see that one. Five or sixes. Nope. Okay. Well, there you go. My turn was just as anticlimactic as your Good. turn. So that is it for shooting. I don't think I have any scooting and shooting to do. Maybe. Um, I'm going to try to scoot and shoot with these guys just so I can realign their turrets. And they do. So basically I'm just using it to turn my turrets back forward. So you can't get a flanking shot on me. Okay. All right, and then uh, that's it. So over to German, turn two. Everything that happened. Yeah, um, in appropriate right Jacob fashion, okay. the uh, Panzer platoon is whipping around the side. Gotcha. Uh, Tiger is pushing that flank as well. Nice, nice. Panzer 470 stayed put. 88s, just as they normally do, stayed put. And then, as we just saw, I uh, blitzed these Panzer 470s. And these guys are pulling back a little bit. The whirlwinds fell back. Yeah. Okay. Or, where your air power might come in. All right. Yeah, yeah, you never know. <laughs> For another table. All right, where do you want to start your shooting? Uh, let's start over here with these Panzer 470. So I have okay. two uh, long-range shots on that little tank. Did you get there. this guy yep. here? He's the only one in range? He is, I think so. Okay. Um, so two shots on sixes, correct? Uh, two shots on sixes, yep. No, oh. that's a bummer. Okay. And then? Uh, I'm going to range in the Brum Bars okay. using my company command on uh, this gentleman right try here. to get as much yeah. as you can cover as possible. All right, well, you need to check your skill rating of your commander and your Brumbars. We'll be back to, to see those numbers. All right, um, four up to range in because your template's covering tall terrain or short terrain. First one? First attempt. Oh, right. Germans. Second attempt. There yeah, you go. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right, so you're going to hit on fives. You, the template we already looked is enough to cover everybody because okay. it's like on a corner here. Uh, so if you want to go here on a five. Yep. Nope. nope. Jumbo, no. Yes. yes. Okay. Next one. Nope. nope. And. Nope. All right, and then what's your AT? My AT is three. AT is three. Top armor is one. Let's see what I can do. This is good. You're hitting the easy eight. And I can't swap when it's an artillery bombardment. Yeah, that's, I, I knew that. Oh, very <laughs> sneaky. So, uh, possible bail. Uh, so, unless I'm wrong here, it is firepower two plus. Okay, let's see it two up. There okay, we go. that's one bailed out, easy eight. Boop. And I'll put this here. I'll see your boop with another boop. <laughs> All right, next up. Uh, these two 88s are gonna fire into that unit again. All right, um, well they case. shot last turn, so just sixes this What's time. <clears throat> it's gonna work out, oh. And Good for aren't me. Aren't four shots for those guys? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> ah. All right, which two do you want to hit? If it's okay with you, I'd like to not do the easy in the jumbo. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. It's, that's not okay with me. Well, on a three up, it's not okay, okay. with me. So we're going to try to swap that hit to that gentleman. And we do. All right, so it's 14 versus 7, so I can't stop this one. No. So go ahead and roll it up. Do that. You killed Meat Shield. <laughs> and then I can stop this one, theoretically, because it's a uh, front number 11 on the jumbo, mm -hmm. and then plus one for range is 12. So if I roll a one, oh, I just cursed myself. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what I roll? Oh, I think that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's too soon. It's too soon. We'll spin lucky. No, <laughs> no, you're not just stopping. You're lucky, lucky enough naturally. Yeah, there we ah. go. Okay. So you blew up one Sherman, uh, but the jumbo bounced, but at the cost of lucky, which I think is a, a good That's fair. A good save. That's fair. Okay, let me brew up the tank and we'll be back for the rest of your shots.
All right, uh, the two tigers are going to fire into two your tigers. Shermans. All right, into the Shermans. So it's going to be two shots needing sixes because it's long range still. So close. So close. And... I'm going to scoot and shoot those uh, Panzer Force Avenues. So just okay, wanna... you're going to use that Stormtrooper special rule on a three-up. Oof. They can. All right, and those guys end up there. And with that, that's the end of German turn two. On to American turn two. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that information. <laughs>
if that's okay with you. That's fine. Okay, so here we go. We're going for, uh, let's go for the Whirlpool wins first. They're going to need sixes. No, oh, I should have done that for the, the other guys. And then two uh, 76 millimeter high velocity shots into the Panzer 470 Eagle Fives. Got one. One. So we'll do um, this guy. Okay. And I think you're more than eight inches away, so you could try to swap if you would like. I, I don't know why you want that guy, so I'll just let's just I'll leave it alone. Okay, so it's a nine versus thirteen. So looking uh, for a four. We need a four to equal. That is not. That's a three up firepower to destroy. Got him. Oh. I don't have a turret. All right. Next up, uh, the two easy eights are going to fire. Uh, but their two stable mates dashed so they can't shoot. So it's just going to be four uh, of the AT-13 guns also into the Panzer 470s. Okay. All right, so let's see some more fives. We got one more. So we'll put them on the, uh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, that guy there is fine. I'm going to swap just because I feel like I should. Okay. All right. Oh, well, well, at least you got that <laughs> bad armor rolling. There we go. I feel like that's always a good thing. All right, so looking four for, to equal. Looking for a four, hopefully better. Bounce. Bounces. Nice. Okay. And with that, um, I think all my shooting is done. I don't have anything else to do. So it's on to German turn three. We need to um, unpin the infantry on a four up. No. They do not. So can he get back in, or does he just stay put and shaking his he boots? He does. There's no room for him in anything. Oh, that's true. Yeah. All right. So, well, no, Fritz, he can't Fritz get back get, in. Fritz is getting <laughs> left behind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is, uh, that's it for starting step. You don't need any other starting step stuff. So on to uh, movement for Germans. All right, movement's done. What'd you do? Nothing. Nothing over here? <laughs> okay, okay. They're staying put. Staying put. Um, over here, uh, this Tiger uh, did a cross check, moved up for close range. This guy did a blitz to get to close range. He did. He and did. Uh, I hopped that remaining Panzer Grenadier in that vehicle, and they're just, they're hell bent for leather. All right, sounds good. So basically, they're still pinned down, but they're inside, so the tracks can get closer. All right. All right, where do you want to, uh, where do you want to begin with all your magical shooting? I, <laughs> let's do this Panzer 470 first. Okay, and you moved to short range, right? Yes, uh, but okay. I blitz, so I counted st stationary, correct? You do. All right, let's shoot that Panzer 470 into those, uh, what are they called? Sherman. Okay, so it's fours for range, or not fours for range, four base, five for concealment. Okay. Um, and here we go. Let's see it. No. All right, good for me. Okay. Off to a good start. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that tiger, that's a close range that moved. Two so shots. We got, we got, oh, yeah, doomed to go. both your tigers. I guess that doesn't So move. both are at short range, right? Yeah. Okay, so. So fives? So we need some fives. I'll take the one. one. Um, you gonna put I it would on? like to put on that one. Actually, you know, we should probably have ranged, because if it was him, you couldn't sw swap it, right? Well, let's see if that's eight inches or not. I have a handy eight inch thing here. And it looks like they are within eight inches. So on a five or six, you want to say it was him? Uh, yeah, that sounds good. No. So, so it's farther away. Yep, so you may swap it. Oh, I may try. Let's try to switch it to the jumbo. We do. So that, that is AT-14 versus my 11. Short range, though. Yes. So I need a 2. No, I need a 3 to equal. Right? Yep. Yeah. Yes. All right, here we go. Thanks for helping me do that math, guys. <laughs> All right, 3 up. No, so do you destroy the jumbo? Get out of here, jumbo. You do. That's one dead jumbo. Four shots from these 88s, firing okay. into that uh, easy 8 over there. Okay. And now, I, th I don't think he's side armor. I think... No. No. Yeah. That's wishful thinking. Okay. Fives. Uh, no, long range concealment. So six, six right? Yeah. It'll work out. It, it did. It does work out. It really did. So I need sixes to equal. So a six here. Oh. And a six for this guy. No. So fire so powers. The, the active one is dead. The other guy is dead. All right. Well, you knocked out that platoon pretty good. Go German. Over here. Yeah. These Brumbars are going to range in for themselves. Okay. Um, I know. Self made men. Um, so right here, I get a nice swath of every Sherman except for one, which is, I think, your commander? No, that's the meat shield for oh, the commander. Sorry, it's time to meat shield. Okay, so four is because you're covering some terrain there. Okay. To range in. First attempt. I got, I got it. it. All right, All so right. you're hitting on threes. Let me grab some dice here. I missed a point. You mean fours. We'll just start and go. All right, so uh, not meat shield. So the other guy sure is a hit. Okay. The, uh, the next to him is a miss. Okay. The guy next to him 
is a hit. Okay. And the Sherman next to him is a miss. Oh, wait. You said that one was a miss. Oh, sorry, yeah. then the, uh, and the last one, the Jumbo, is a miss. Okay. And it's 83, you Eight, said? 83. All right. The, uh, the company commander in his Jumbo... Passes. Ooh, he closed the hatch. Good for him. He does. And this uh, this uh, easy eight is a possible he bail. Did not close the hatch, and he hides. It's a and he bailed. He's bailed out. Okay. All right. There you go. Let's go straight. Uh, four shots from these Panzer four seventies into the uh, that tank platoon. That to big tank platoon. Yeah. Okay. So four shots needing fives. All right. We got ourselves two. Okay. Um, and I guess we should have talked about how close you are. You can swap, um, but I would like to do... Well, that's the company oh, command. My apologies. Okay. So that guy and the meat shield. Meat shield. All right, okay. We'll try to swap the hit on the easy eight to the jumbo. We do. Look at that. So successful. Okay. So we'll do... I can't stop the hit on the meat shield because he's yep. just front armor six versus your 14. Okay. Three plus is dead. And then the jumbo, I possibly could. Let's see, 11. So again, I need a, a three. three to equal. You've been doing good so far. So a possible bail on a three up. He's bailed. He's bailed. Okay. And I think that's it for your shooting, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna the jumbo. I have to do a scoot and shoot for this here uh, company commander, if I may. Uh, okay. Cause yes, blitz. because you did a successful blitz. Okay. You may successfully shoot and scoot. Very nice. And with that, we're off to American Turn 3, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So we've got, uh, good thing I've got my company commander there. So we're going to try to get back in on the easy eight. Uh, three up, I'll just throw two dice at him. And he does not get back in. And two dice for the jumbo. <laughs> He does not get back in. So those guys need a test. Oh, you get to reroll. Uh, four, I do get to reroll it. Four up. There we go. Okay, they stay. But that really hampers my my uh, attack over there. Way to go, Jacob. All right, and then uh, we're gonna go to movement. See what's happening. Kind of on the back foot here with all your good shooting last round. These Americans overextend themselves. But they didn't extend anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> all right, all right. On to movement. Movement's done. We're we're gonna risk. Jacob's not the only one who can be brash and crazy. <laughs> so my Chaffee's moved up. They're gonna to try to take on the Whirlwinds with stabilizers. I'm only gonna hit you on sevens though. Over here, these Sherman stay put, so the ones that aren't bailed out can actually shoot. <laughs> okay. These guys moved up. I actually got one guy theoretically could assault that Panzer 470, um, but we'll see how the shooting goes. And over here, I'm staying put. I'm hoping to take out the two Tigers. And then do a successful scoot and shoot. I have no idea why I think that's going to be successful because I'm going to fail everything. I'm sure. Oh, oh and uh, redeploying the 81 millimeter mortars are driving over this way. All right, with that, let's start with the chaffee, shall we? Because mm -hmm. I'm sure this isn't going to give me anything. I need sevens, so I need sixes followed by Five? fives. No, that's no, hard. Okay, then let's go with this platoon that you knocked out. I have one easy eight left. We're going to fire into your Panzer 470s. Okay. Two shots, just hitting on fours. We got one hit. And we're going to take this guy. Oof. I now know there's a reason I want to go. Actually, if you bail that, then you could just... That's just some thinking here. Yeah, I'm still going to swap it, though. You're still going to try to swap. No. No swap? Okay, so the outside guy, uh, 13 versus 9. Yep, so looking for a 4. Looking for that 4. No. Ooh. So it's a pen, 3 up, and he's bailed out. Bail. Uh, Nick, what's the front armor on the Brumbars? Oh, uh, ten. Ten, nice. Okay. Uh, this platoon, the company commander is going to fire his big gun into the, um, Panzer 470. Okay. And he's going to try to smoke the 88 over there. Okay. All right. Actually, I don't think he can with my infantry there. So he'll put his two shots into the Orbal Winds. Let's do that first. Looking for those sevens. Okay. No, no, not at all. And then looking for fours from my... Jumbo Commander into your Panzer 470s. Whew. I got one more hit. And we will target the bailed out guy. Your Jumbo Commander. So this is AT-13. Just just AT oh, 13, no. Uh, you're targeting the bailout guy? Yeah. I don't know why I should want to swap this. 
So I'm actually, not, no, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go on the unveiled app guy. Sorry. All right, now, uh, I, now, now I feel like there's a reason for me there. Okay. Well, you could try some more. And I you do. do. I do. And then, uh, so I'm looking for a four again. Looking for a four. I keep rolling that three. And we got him. That's unfortunate. Okay. Oops. And then let's draw our attention over here, shall we? Two shots into the Tigers. I guess we're going to point at that one over there. Hitting on fours. You ready for this? No. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, this super person is purging. never going to earn its points back. <laughs> no, not at this route. All right, that's it for shooting. So let's try some scooting and shooting. I really need this on a three up. Go, go, super purging. Okay. Hey! Okay. He did something. He succeeded in yeah, he one re thing. He realized something's not, not good here. Oh, gosh, yes, <laughs> yes, he did. Okay, so uh, with that, I think. Do we want scoot and shoots over there? I think. I think we do. Let's try to scoot and shoot with the. No, let's keep him there one more turn. Then we're good. No, let's scoot and shoot. We'll scoot and shoot <laughs> with the uh, company right. commander. No. Let's scoot and shoot with this platoon. Yes. The... That one tank. Oh, actually, <laughs> well, that's terrible now. That's just that one tank, so we're going to keep him there. He's just going to drive back and forth a few times. Forever, forever. <laughs> All right, and with that, that's the end of American Turn 3. i got to reposition wanna, did him. Did you charge? Oh, yeah, I did. Thank you. Dang Thank it. you, Jacob. Yeah, that's sportsmanship. Okay. All right, I managed to get one team in, uh, into assault. So you've got... I wonder, actually... Let's check one thing now that he reached. Can this bazooka guy back him up? Yeah, he can, actually. So it's going to be two guys in there. Okay. I'll put him on the smoke for you. All right. So you got uh, how many shots? Three shots. Three shots. Hitting on threes. One. Okay. I'm going to choose the bazooka guy. Okay. And he survives. Dang. All right. Uh, the normal infantry guy uh, doesn't hit. And the bazooka, which I think is one harder to hit does not hit. So would you like to counterattack or run away? Uh, Panzer 470's skill. This is a... My, well, it's an assault gun, so it's going to have four, a lower assault like a gun. Four, four plus. Four plus assault gun. Um, you know what? Yes, I will. Okay. Then, Let's see a four plus. To, is this to just hit you or, or do I have to, to motivate counterattack. Oh, yeah. so, okay. So actually, so to counterattack is a five plus. Okay. Yeah. So five plus. No. no. So you have to break off. I have to break off. Which means... Oh, that guy's already destroyed. He's not bad. Yeah, he's already destroyed. I just whenever he got fire. Um, so break off is how far? Is so you have to movement? break out of. You have to move out of six inches of him, but no further. Okay. And uh, then I can consolidate. All right, so uh, I end up consolidating here. My platoon's moving forward, putting some pressure on those brum bars, and. Uh, <laughs> yeah, those, those two are both dead. Yeah. Where do you, oh, you and you fell back here? Yes. So it is on to German turn four. Oh, and he used his scoot shoot. Thank you. All right, so we are in the starting step. Jacob doesn't need to do anything except for this lone. Panzer 470. It's a last stand check, right? It's That's a the, last stand check. So it looks to be a 3 plus. A 3 plus. So Let's see if he sticks around. Yes, please. He does. All right. Okay. I'm also going to blitz him. Okay. Oh. All right. So let's, uh, hey, good he, for me. He does blitz. All right. Movement is done. You want to? Start with what you did over here? Yeah, the Brumbars went over here to do what I love, and that's shoot a Brumbar gun at something way too small okay. to shoot a Brumbar gun at. <laughs> um, good, good. I, <laughs> that's, this guy blitzed, mm -hmm. and I'm going to try to try to get rid of that Super Sherman. Super Pershing? Pers yeah, see? that's I, I, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't even deserve it. He doesn't even super. deserve it. <laughs> All right, over um, here. These guys both passed their blitz, um, so I moved up, but I'm just gonna. That guy's holding the objective, and these two were um, trying to threaten your super purging. Okay. Um, and then finally, the the uh, guys in that half track are just plopped right down on the objective. Yes, yes, they are. Okay. So, uh, where do you want to start with your shooting? I think the most important shot is heard around the world. One shot hitting on a four. 50 50 chance. This could potentially win you the game. Well, that's not a, this that's turn. A, but that's a veteran? It is. That? Dang, good for him. Come on. No. Oh, that's a hit. All 14 right. to... Side armor 6, so... 
Three up for a pair. Oh, that's one, one dead one super Persian. Okay. All right, so he's dead. Where do you want to go next? Um, well, I'm going to shoot these uh, these two tigers into that lead uh, okay. mortar track. We'll have to check to see if uh, that guy can see. Does. Uh, I'm going to poke my eye out. There's a um, tree. Yeah. <laughs> right. I don't think I can. <laughs> okay. So just this guy. Yeah. <laughs> is going to shoot there. All right. So it's long range, probably out in the open. So uh, it's going to be five. Four, five. No. No. Okay. Um, so that's it there. Yep. Um, over here, I do have 188 into that back mortar. Okay. So two shots on fives. Yeah, it's going to be sixes because of concealment. That too. is correct. And that's why I rolled poorly. Okay. Last but not least, this guy. Is going to uh, put some firepower into that those chaffies. Is that the only one he can see? Uh, I think that is, yeah. Okay. So two shots needing sixes. sixes. Got one. Okay, firepower. Uh, you got him. That's a chaffy. That is. Good job, Germans. All right, um, Brumbar's next. Two Brumbar shots into these chaffies. Okay. Um, so it's four's base, five for concealment. Yep. Six is because I'm a slow firing gun. Okay, and it would be, um, yeah, sixes. Come on, Brumbar. Ah, uh, together now. Yep. Okay. All um, right. I think I'm going to hold. I think you're going to hold? That's it. Okay. Well, with that, that's the end of the German turn. It does not look good for the Americans. So, on to American turn four, five, seven. There we go. We're going to try to... <laughs> Get back in. We're, we're making fun of my super Persian <laughs> because it sucks. <laughs> it's done one successful thing and then move backwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was the one successful thing it managed to do. All right, over here. Uh, we're going to try to get the easy eight back in. My company commander is still right there to give him the reroll. Huh. He's back. In. Oh. And then the jumbo. Can he get back in? Huh. He does. Okay. All right. All right, Jacob. So here's the deal, valued viewers. Jacob is going to win. Next turn, his turn, because he's going to start his turn on the objective and end his turn on the objective. The only way I can win is over here if I can manage to shoot off his Werble winds. And it looks like really I just need to kill two. I'm not sure if all three are in there. Um, to claim the objective, all three are in. Yeah, excellent. Uh, so I moved up my infantry for potential assault. Uh, I got my chaffies there that haven't moved. And these guys are going to stay put because everything is going to go into those Werble winds, hopefully to kill them. So basically it comes down to this. If I kill them, I win. If I fail to kill them, you win. Sounds good? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Start with the Chaffees. we got six shots going into the Werble winds. Uh, you're gone to ground and in the uh, wheat field, so I'm going to hit on sixes. Basically, everyone's going to be hitting on sixes. Okay. So this is just going to be how many sixes can John roll. All right, let's start with the Chaffees. Okay, Chaffees fail. Let's get some new dice, shall we? I want the other ones to like that. Your bazooka hits on a seven. My bazooka will hit on a seven. Good good call. What's the side armor on those things? Uh, Not good. <laughs> hey, don't talk. Two? two? We're, uh, we're going in side armor is two. Oh, okay, my rifles can't hurt you. All right, bazooka on a seven. No. All right, let's start with uh, this platoon. We've got two easy eights and a jumbo. Actually, based on the firepower, there's no way you can stop any of those, so I'll just roll them all together. So that's going to be six dice. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah. You ready for this other Jake? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. Huh? We got one. Oh. All right, I'm going to put it on the closest one. Um, swap it, swap it. No. Okay. I'm not going to swap no. it. Okay. Swap it well, he's going to machine gun in, though. He can't charge you if you swap it to that one. And then his whole charge thing is... Why can't he charge... He can't charge a bailed out vehicle? Well, it'll be, like, dead. Oh, it's, it's it's just, is this the jumbo it's or the... Uh, a easy big eight. gun is shooting at you. I guess, it, yeah. So it's all, right. Far, right. all right, I will swap it yeah. because I've been coached. Up. All right, three up. No, you're not swapping. Ah, Jake, come on! <laughs> He's dead. I'm so trying to help you. This one is destroyed. Okay. Next up, we've got the platoon commander going with his Sherman. So that's four shots looking for a six. We're going to target this guy. Ready for this? 
No. No. We got another hit. That's not good. So that's on this one. You could also try to swap him. I'm going to try to swap it. Okay, three up. Hey. Okay. Bail out. Jake. And you then, one, three plus. That's it for uh, the shooting phase, Jacob. So let's go assault, shall we? Yes, sir. I think we're going to go... Let me do some measuring here to see if I can minimize the fire. Just going to attack with two teams. Uh, because you're bailed out and he can't see them, um, it's not going to be any defensive fire. I will set these dice down. Okay, <laughs> you might need them eventually, but uh, so we'll do the non-attacking uh, team first. Okay. He misses, and the bazooka uh, also misses. All right, uh, you can uh, counterattack. Okay, um, my counterattack for Whirlwind is a six. Ooh. Oh, oh okay. Good for, good for Germans. What's your counterattack? Five. So. Because uh, I'm battle weary. You, you are quite battle weary. Basically, you just need to throw them off. So. Like, let's kind of talk to this maybe for the viewer's sake. Okay. So if I go up and I hit you back off, hooray for me. If I break off, I don't test until the top of my next turn, right? You don't test, but you have to fall out of six of me. Uh, of that guy? Yeah. So I could go here. I mean, so I'd still hold. Yep. Yeah. Um, but this sounds more cinematic, so I'm going to counterattack. Okay. Actually, that's probably the... If I go here... It'll be outside range of the objective. But then I'll just fall back. Yeah, you can yeah, If this doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then what's your... Or you could just safely fall back you now. <laughs> no, this is not <laughs> okay. how this works. All you need to do is make me run away, too. This is a bad idea. Myself as a five. Here we go. Five. Oh, okay. All right, I need a five to counterattack. Oh, wait a second. Sorry. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I'm now just realizing, so if you counterattack, I don't get to reposition, though, do I? Or can I go back four inches? Uh, well, I'll get to swing before you can decide whether you But, run but I'm saying, like, so if you fail this counter this counterattack and you break off, uh -huh. I still get to consolidate, yes. correct? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go right ahead. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, here we go. Five up. I have no faith at all in this. Hey! hey. <laughs> Yay, no faith! Good, good for Americans. <laughs> okay. Now that. <laughs> all right, we'll go, uh, we'll do... Um, there swings into the healthy guy, I guess. Okay. That's probably going to be the best. The regular rifle team actually hits, and the bazooka actually hits. Uh -oh. So that's going to be one for each. Okay. So we'll do the regular hits, just AT2 versus your top armor. Can I choose where that goes? Um, no, I choose. Okay. I'm gonna, I want that on the bailed out guy. Smart, smart choice. Yeah. That's a equal. So, oh, was this? Yeah, sorry, was that clogged? Okay. Sorry. No, that's yeah. fine. So he's just uh, double bailed out, okay. so do a morale check right away. No. Okay, so he's destroyed. Okay. And then the AT-10 goes against your side armor of... Three? Two. Four? Two. Two. Oh. Uh, so you can't stop it, it so matter, five up firepower. Yeah. He's blown up. Okay. Um, now, now I'm getting my fives and sixes. So with both those Werble winds blown up, then they can consolidate. I think you should have done what Jake said. Yeah, you should have just ran away and you would have won the game. Yeah, well, that's not how Germans fight. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, well, let me go to my side of the table. Um, so obviously my infantry would just consolidate further onto the objective. Not like they would need to, but sure. Yeah, but, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the for, all the, for all the work yeah. they did. All right, um, so that was pretty close battle. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you totally defeated me. When I have, I feel like you shouldn't have. Well, just a difference of opinion. <laughs> fortune, fortune favors the foolish, though. Um, but I mean, my super purging missed every single shot for three turns. Well, you kept trying to blitz it, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, I still have no faith in movement. Orders. Even when I didn't blitz and I had to hit your tigers on that the floor. That is true. That is true. Nothing. Nothing. Better is the best armor. If I would have hit one tiger, maybe I could have made them run away. Because your company commander wasn't... Oh, no, he was nearby, so... Yeah. They wouldn't have run away, but still. We'll see. And then you wiped out that platoon needing fives and sixes, <laughs> which was really good. Um, and like I said, you would have won uh, had that failed. And then over there, you should have done what that Jake said. And if you wanted to Thank win... Thank goodness you didn't charge what? out your guys earlier on. <laughs> I think that... <laughs> 
I, it's just a different play style. You like to win. I like to, you know, <laughs> heroically sally forth. And then well, that was the the very cinematic thing to do is those those whirlwinds come out and try to crush the infantry <laughs> and catch a bazooka up the tailpipe. Um, or so, how would you have done your deployment different? Anything you would have done differently? Um. Honest, I mean, maybe I should have honestly put the 80. I should have realized that my lane of fire wasn't that great. And I should have just plotted the 88s on one of the objectives. But, I mean, that's probably the biggest thing I would have done. Well, if those 88s were over here instead of over there, the game would have changed much, but it would have made taking that objective yeah. harder. I mean, because really, they, they just didn't... I was expecting them to support them, but you did a good job of keeping your flanks, you know, hidden the entire time. So, um, you know, it's always good to put your 88s in the middle, but just I should have popped them on an objective. Yeah. I mean, you could have spent a turn shooting them this way, but then you wouldn't have annihilated this platoon. Yeah. Because I think the 88s killed... Did they kill one or two? One or two. I think it was just one. I think they killed the jumbo, if I remember That's right. That's helpful. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> but uh, there you go. So that's a, a sneak peek at kind of the American bulge book. There's a lot of fun things in here. I just threw this list together really quick just to get a bunch of different kinds of Shermans onto the tabletop. But uh, And then the Super Pershing will be going into cold storage. There was only one ever built. You've destroyed it. <laughs> I think that means I can never play with it again. That's, sounds but, all right. He's, that's like the sixth time he said that. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, I will be playing with it again. <laughs> it, it can't fail me two games in a row, certainly. Oh, I can't sure. wait to come back to this clip later. <laughs> <laughs> me just crying in a corner. <laughs> So there you go. I think I would have maybe had one other thing over here. I might have, should have had my infantry on this side with the two platoons and not have them with the attack wing over here. Uh, because I was pushing, and if you had crushed this push, you probably would have won anyway. Yeah. You just didn't really need him over here. Also, no. by then you already knew where his warble winds were, so them being over here was weird <laughs> if I, I mean if I if I was you I probably would have I would have done super pershing I mean just like you you know ver, or was it a mid-war tiger and infantry you just plop in the middle of them and it's like you can't get me you can't kill me and you yeah. can't push me but I mean still I I'm in favor of just big heavy you know too yeah. much stuff going at once so that's just a diff difference in play style so I think if I put my infantry over here that would be the one change I would have made yeah I probably would have kept everything else the same um, I still would have had the same attack so that would have been interesting. And that way I could have held here longer, even if you had done all of this, it would have taken a turn or two to squash the infantry, to give me a turn or two more to deal with that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so there you go. That's uh, the Battle of the Bulge. I'm sure we're going to see a lot. I think Jake and I are going to be playing New Hungarians versus a Bulge Army. Yeah, I wanted to try them. So uh, that's going to be, I don't know if that's going to be that will probably be Patreon. This will probably be YouTube. Um, so, yeah, Jake's not premium status. <laughs> you, <laughs> we were, <laughs> you were premium content last month. <laughs> so you, you can't have too much greatness or, or Jake will feel bad. Out with the old and with the new. <laughs> <laughs> the two Jakes. Isn't that a movie? The two Jakes? Big Jake. Big Jake? I think there's the two Jakes. Okay. All right, well, anyone who's still <laughs> listening to us at this point, Thank you for listening. Please do consider giving us a like and subscribe. Click that bell to receive notification when we release new content. As always, thanks for watching, and keep on wargaming. <laughs> <laughs>